The free ride is over. Google has officially pulled the plug on their free unlimited photo backup service and now you have to pay. If you're thinking, no problem, I'll just simply go into Google Photos, press select all and download all your images, I've got some bad news. It's not that straightforward. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. There are two methods, both have their pros and cons and we're going to go through each one of them. But remember, do not panic. You still have some time. For starters, after the cutoff date comes into effect, those photos that are already in Google Photos will not be deleted. Now, since most people simply upload their photos in high quality, these are so compressed and therefore those large images become small. Obviously, if you upload your photos in the original quality, well then, they're gonna take up so much more space. So, let's start there. Right, let's open up photos.google.com and on the right hand side, what I'm gonna do is click on the gear icon and mine is set to original. But watch this, if you click on high quality, it will actually tell you that if you switch to high quality, how much space can you recover? Now for me, it's 93 megabytes, so I'm not gonna confirm that, but this is a quick way to instantly see if you can save a whole bunch of space by simply clicking out of original to high quality. Click on the storage on the left-hand side and it will tell you about one years of storage left. This is based on the how often I upload and backup stuff onto my Google Drive and my Google Photos. I've got about a year's worth of storage, so I'm not really panicking again. Whilst we're here, let's check out how much it's gonna cost if we actually did wanna go onto the Google one for the payment option. So it's $1.99 a month, $2.99 a month, or $9.99 a month, or you can choose the annual plan, which are these amounts, and based on the amount that you pay is how much gigabytes or terabyte storage you actually get. So in case you do wanna go that option, it's right there. Okay, next up, let's click on photos. Now I wanna download absolutely all my photos and there is no, download all button. I don't know why, but there isn't. At best, on the right hand side, I can see how many years worth of content I have here, and I cannot find an option that says select all. So Google makes it super easy to upload stuff to Google Photos, but not super easy to take stuff away. What I can do is click on the date, and you can see it automatically puts little tick marks everywhere, and so I can then click on the three little dots on the top right, and then click on download, and then I can get it grouped together. What I can do is go ahead and click on all the individual dates and then it will select all those photos within that date and basically go manually through this and then download a whole bunch. Uh, very laborious. The only other way to download photos if you actually open up a photo, again, three little dots at the top right and then I can click on download. Again, I'm not gonna open up all my photos to download them each one by one. So how do we download them all together? Let me show you how to do that. So what you do is you go to the left hand side, you find albums, click on that. Then top right hand side, create an album. Now you're gonna give your album a name that you recognize, something like all of 2020, perfect. Then I click on add photos. Now here's the difference. Before it didn't allow you to select them all, but watch this. Click on the first photo and as I'm holding the mouse down over the other photos, it automatically selects them. So I clicked on the first photo, I can go to a specific date range, somewhere near the whole of 2020, for example, and as I have the mouse over it, it automatically ticks them so I can add all of those into that album. Click on done whilst you've selected them all, and it will add them to that album. Now remember, it doesn't actually move them to another folder. All it does is add the tag to those photos to say that they belong in that album. But here's what it does do. Three little dots on the top right, click on download all. Now it takes all those photos within that album, creates one zip file, and inside that zip file, it has all your photos, has all your videos, all neatly located under that album name. So it's a quick way to download everything. So let's open up one of the images. Here is my fin, my little King Charles Spaniel talking on the mic. But watch this, click on the three little dots in the photo. And when that opens up, you wanna select file info. This is the metadata all the bits of information about that photo, like the date that it was taken, the size of the file, dimensions, location, or any other metadata that's associated with that photo. So that's good, but here is what's bad. What's bad is that it puts today's date for every single photo. So you know how you uploaded things in chronological order onto your Google Photos? It doesn't display it in that order. 
It's got that information in the metadata, but the date is associated with today's date. So the pros of this method is that you can create your album and download the entire album all at once. At some point there was like a 500 photo limit, but that doesn't seem to be a factor anymore. I have a three gig file which has over a thousand photos and videos, so I'm glad they got rid of that limit. The downside of this method is that you have to create the album first, and then you add the images, and then you download them. So it's a little bit of work, especially if you haven't been using albums all these years. So that's the one downside. The other downside is that date. The date is no longer the date the image was uploaded, but the date you downloaded to your computer. What a friggin' pain. So as I show you method number two, which has its pros and cons, take a second and give the video a thumbs up. And if you found value, obviously hit that subscribe button just because you're awesome. Okay, thanks for doing that. Next up, let's go to takeout.google.com. This is Google's facility that allows you to export all your contact out of your Google account and to an outside service. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deselect all and we're gonna scroll down until we find photos. Look how many things you can simply export, which is pretty cool of Google. So let's go down, find photos, photos, photos. Okay, and there they are. I'm gonna put a little tick box in there. Next up, I'm gonna click on manage format and I'm gonna show you why. So when you click on manage format, it says these are the photos, it's gonna export them in original format, PNG, JPEG or WEP. Same thing with videos, original format or MP4. But check this out, album metadata is in a JSON file. Photo metadata is in a JSON file. That is the bits of information which tells you all that information about the actual photo. For some people, this is super, super important. Next up, you select the kind of file size that you want, how big you want the file size to be. Obviously, if you're backing up 10 gigs of data at two gigs each, it's gonna have five files for you to download and create export. Click on that button. Next up, it doesn't just straight away start. It actually has to schedule it for a point in the future and it will send you an email letting you know that it's done. Uh, that's gonna take a bit of time. So the upside of that method is that it downloads all your photos with one instruction. You get an email when it's ready, you then save the zip file to your computer and everything is simply there. The downside of this method is that it removes the metadata from your photos. It stores the metadata in a separate JSON file and you need a tool like EXIF to splice all these back together again. Now, if you don't know what EXIF is and you don't know what metadata is and you don't really care about that, this is a non-issue for you. However, if you're a professional photographer, obviously this is a very, very big deal. Okay, one more thing to note is that the files are now on your computer, which means if your computer's hard drive crashes and dies, you're gonna lose all your photos. So I highly, highly recommend making a backup of these to something like an external hard drive. Now, speaking of saving your photos, if you use Facebook, here is how to download all your photos from Facebook and your memories, especially if you're thinking of deleting your account. Check out this video down here, which YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head below to subscribe, and I will see you in those videos. Let's go.